your IDs there, please. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. That together. Um, I think our results will be exactly what we're looking for because I think it's uh, similar in that the way that you put that together is that um, last year when uh, you worked really hard on the left column, I think we can... Well, you know, Crash is, uh, he's a great guy to have around. He's, uh, I like his street smarts. You know, he's a guy who, he sees a problem, he, he moves right in, he starts solving the problem. Um, you know, doesn't spend a lot of time strategizing around it. He's, a, he's an action-oriented guy. No, please don't do that. Well, you know that this is a team that made Simpsons Hit and Run, and then we made Crash Tag Team Racing, and uh, we had the idea in Tag Team Racing of merging the two cars together. And so we took that, we wanted to make a new game, we stepped back, we thought, how do we give him a whole bunch of power? And the obvious answer is, you know, throw a weapon in your hand, and then we thought, oh, but if you merge, like if we created a bunch of really ferocious enemies in the game, and you were able to take over and control them, these enemies essentially become your weapons. We've got 15 of them in the game, and once you beat them up a bit, then you get the opportunity to take them over and control them. Because when you're on top of them, when you're controlling them, uh, you hijack them essentially in the game, so we call it jacking for short. That's where your power comes from, right? You're like riding these enormous creatures and you have access to all their, their entire arsenal of abilities. So, um, so that's what we wanted. That was the hook of the game, and that's what we really wanted to focus on. Use their power to destroy other enemies. Crash, jacking only works in a game. We wanted to create a style that was um, cartoony and playful, but could also be majestic and beautiful where it needed to be. Uh, do you think this was kind of tricky? We decided to, um, you know, go by three kind of staples of our of art. Is one we used a lot of organic and bold shapes in our environments. The second thing was we really went for a painterly style with our textures, so everything was just hand-painted, uh, very soft and graceful. And the third thing was our lighting. Uh, we went for really rich colors in our lighting and a, a very deep look. Uh, yeah, it helps, it helps a bit. Well, it was all Cortex's idea, really. He said that if I didn't make them nasty, though, he would use all the... The Evolver. Yeah, the Evolver. The Evolver. On me. Yeah, you keep that Crash mojo going and get the game for the track. Crash, you're a charming guy and it's not hard to keep you fresh. In this game, we remodeled it. I mean, you can see you've got a new bone structure, um, you've got a whole bunch of new abilities, right? And that required a new rig and a new model. So you're kind of heftier in this game. So that definitely keeps you fresh. And then the tattoos, of course, very hot. The tattoos are very popular. Um, and they're cool because every time you jack an enemy, he, as you take control and you put the mask on his face, he then uh, appears with uh, the same tattoos to denote that you're kind of, you're bonding, you know, you're working as one at that point, so. So that's how we did it in this game. And we will keep on keeping you fresh. I think it's because you're a fun guy, Crash, and you keep active, lots of spinning, jumping. I mean, you've got more moves than a boy band, so that's probably why you've lasted a lot longer than them. And then there's all that one for free. Yeah, you use that for like a condition or something? And... of, you know, sort of etiquette, you know, politics around the office, uh, bodily functions leap to mind. You know, he's not, um, not really discreet. Yeah, 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 I better hear it, Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I think it's going to have to be engine. He's... He's insane. Let's just dance, baby! He's probably the most evil character I've ever seen in any video game. That guy's got a rocket stuck in one side of his head. He's completely insane. He wants to drop bombs on everything he sees. I don't feel comfortable saying anything other than I like you best at this stage, I think. Well, this is our team's fourth PS2 game. 
We've learned how to eke out every ounce of power from those little black boxes. There's 20 massive levels, bigger than anything that's ever been in the Crash game before. Absolutely beautiful story and cutscenes and animations. Tight dual shock controls. This is the best Crash I've ever looked or played Ooh. on the PlayStation 2. Uh, no. Have you ever played a game where it seemed like the enemies and the bad guys had all the best moves? In this game, you can do anything they can do. Let, let's say there's a, the Ratsicle. He's like, the, he's like the, the big blue ice monster. And he comes at you with a freeze attack and he freezes you solid. And then the other, his buddies are hitting you and you're like, what am I supposed to do? Well, you give him a couple hits, you stun him, crash, uses his magical mask to jump on his back and then you can turn around and use their own ice attack on them, freeze them solid, and then you've got the power of the enemies. Ooh, I can't get it, I... Absolutely, there's three unique bosses in the game. Even the final boss, when you're taking on the, 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 the head bad guy, or bad girl in this case, in the game, you can use the exact same moves that they make. Ooh, is that much a well, Of course there is. Uh, one of our programmers figured out how to get uh, two crashes in the game. I mean, what could be cooler than that? Hey. Two of you. It's it's a, it's an incredible sense of power. You can you can imagine how you would both play in the fighting aspects of the game. You can both run around. You can jack creatures. You can double up your power essentially. Uh, but then there's this incredibly innovative aspect to it as well because if you can get on each other's creatures, we thought, what if the two crashes could jump on each other? And so of course they can. And then the gameplay becomes a, a leapfrogging kind of gameplay that kids play where they're jumping over each other. So as you're jumping through the game, it is truly cooperative platforming. You jump, I jump, you jump, I jump. Or you'll jump and grab onto a rope and swing, and then it's my turn, and we're talking and working back and forth, and you have to get into a, a real vibe and a rhythm, almost like you would in a tennis game. It's just tremendous fun. Fire high! I'm gonna have to say it's your eyes. Like it's that green in your eyes, it's your lips and your teeth. Crash? Are you paying any attention? Do you actually want to hear this? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> well, and our production manager helps scope out the amount of work for the artist at the beginning of the project and then helps maintain the artist's schedule throughout ah, the project. I think I'm doing my laundry. Ah. Yeah, it was it was tricky. In this game, our, our bandicoots need to do things that they can do before. Uh, we modified his design, so now he, he's able to leap on giant monsters. His hands are bigger, he can just you know grab on where he needs to. He's got shoulders, he can turn his head around. Um, his face is capable of you know uh, physical comedy through, through more expression. Um, so all those things will, will just help it be a better game and, and the character function more. Crash, can we do line four again, please? Just line four, I think that's enough. Yeah, I have a Crash, look. Crash. Please. And the Bandicoot organization, you know, on Wump Island, I think they've got different structures around, you know, legalities and, uh, and yeah, general general etiquette and how you operate in a business environment. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Yeah? Balika! Balika, 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 bal